There's a saying, you know, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And the Rambians have figured that out. The success of one is the success of the another. And when one person is falling, you stamp in to lift them up. And I see that whole passage as part of that, as being a servant leader, as rising up each other, and as coming together to make a magnifying change. The fundamentally successful business is the only way to create generational wealth. I mean, there's the old parable about giving a man a fish, they eat once. Teaching a man to fish, they eat forever. And Harambe is all about teaching people to fish and then finding the best fishermen to go out there and fish fiercely. I truly believe that we live in a creativity era. We move from a knowledge-based society to a creativity-based society. So now, in order to unlock all this potential, all this creativity, we need to nurture those experiences that allow us to, to again, to develop all those important skills that really stays at the center to then, you know, inspire a new generation of creative thinkers and change makers. We believe that talent is equally dispersed around the globe, but access to capital is not. What is amazing is when you meet the Rambians, their dreams are so big that they transcend what you believe can be possible. And I think they inspire entrepreneurs and everyone in the ecosystem to dream that big. Entrepreneurship is the driver for economic growth. So supporting entrepreneurs with capital, uh, market access, and networking is a large part of our U.S.-Africa strategy. African innovators are going to help us uncover what we know are African solutions to global problems. The stories that I'm hearing from the entrepreneurs and innovators here, if the world knew about those, if everybody could hear these stories and the amazing things that are happening, I think it would go a long way to changing people's perceptions of Africa as a place of despair to a place of incredible opportunity um, and innovation. At Torch, we're enabling biometric uh, payments and transactions on the continent. So what that means is people are able to make payments simply by being able to be identified through their fingerprints, which is huge and uh, creates much more access to the rest of the downstream population. Being able to say that at 24, I've hired X amount of people. I'm able to train people. I'm able to build a solution. One of the qualities that struck me about the Harambians is that they're such an incredible, passionate group of people, and you can feel it, right? Just being here at the event, and the whole idea is that if we can help these entrepreneurs grow their businesses, that's skills development, that's uh, job employment, it's a win-win uh, for you know, society, it's a win for the entrepreneur. Hopefully with the products and services that they are able to provide, it also helps benefit people's lives. I'm an Afro-optimist. I have been for a long time. Uh, and I, I love the hope that is there and the commitment to owning that change. The Harambian um, creed speaks exactly to that. It's about partnership. It's about working across borders. It's about being committed to solving problems. It is the ethos of the United States as well. You know, I spent the last 10 years just trying to prove that uh, Africa was a worthy market for, for the world to invest in. For the next 10 years, we can build uh, the world's largest black superpower on the continent. And what we're beginning to see is, is the, the momentum that has been created so studiously and carefully over the last 15 odd years really beginning to take shape. And this is incredibly exciting. So I think that the next five to ten years will be a window where people will say this is the Harambian chapter uh, in terms of transforming the, the entrepreneurial space in Africa. The Harambians are so inspiring. Participating in this conference this week has really uh, infused me with some incredible optimism about the future of Africa. Because I'm seeing people who 
are thinking ahead and planning for the future and putting in those building blocks to support the future of Africa that we're excited about. Continuously want to challenge myself, whether it's in my current venture, to building and preparing for the future of Africa. Thank you.